the rate var as you see here you know this this number 1.179 is not going to move by much however the sensitivity of this bond is going to move significantly so if i take this from 365 to let's say 1800 days a bond which only has let's say 6 years to go the duration of the bond has come down by 4% but the rate var hasn't changed because the underlying rate hasn't changed if i bring it down to 100 days this is a bond that only has 3 months to go once again the duration of the bond the interest rate sensitivity of the bond has changed dramatically however the rate var hasn't changed at all and if i bring it down to just 10 days so this is now a treasury bill that has only 10 days to go the rate var again hasn't changed however the likelihood of any price risk or market risk on this bond is now very very low uh, even if you took yield suddenly from 8% to 30% because you're only looking at 10 days an additional 10 days worth of interest the overall price impact as far as the bond is concerned is not going to be significant but if you look at the rate var calculation you look at this number 1.179 and 8.674 it suggests otherwise it suggests that you know the bond still has about 8.674% um, as a VR estimate and if you really want to make it extreme you just take it down to a day so you're looking at a bond that only has one day to go and as per the rate war method the, val the volatility of the bond is still stuck at 1.179 and 8.674 now if you compare this to go back to our base case if you compare this to the second calculation which we've done on this side this is a calculation that comes from what we call price war or a, a value at risk estimate that is calculated by using a full price valuation so on this side uh, this was column c and d this is column f and g on this side if you see we've actually gone out and calculated we've done a full valuation if i press f2 um, and if i click the fx function you can see that i've actually put in uh, the settlement date the maturity date uh, the 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 coupon rate the yield to maturity the redemption of the bond uh, the frequency in which coupons are paid and the basis and I'm what I'm really doing is I'm for each of these rates I'm recalculating the price of this bond and at the same time also tracking you know when is the maturity of this bond and when is the settlement so the assumption is that as far as I'm concerned this is a constant maturity bond which will remain the same I'm ignoring the impact of any price changes because of um, the fact that the bond is now closer to maturity